Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be round or match three, I think match three of the round of eight. I now have organized infested cup or dead infested. I'm just calling it dead infested tournament at this stage, mostly because it's dead infested who funded it, who hosted it. I know it's infested maps, but let's be fair. It's dead infested's uh, cup. This is going to be uh, infested Largo. So we actually have a different map we're seeing in the upper hand corner. We have Zesky starting as the white Terran bottom left hand corner. We have Magnar starting as the purple Zerg. This is mostly, I think at this stage, guys in chat and Artosis admins, things like that. I know I've got Jumper who is watching live on Twitch, so look for him in season two. If you want to join in season two shenanigans, I'm not sure what the prize pool is. For this, it was a whole 10 buckaroos. So there was a lot of pressure to win these matches. <laughs> this is, uh, I didn't, so I didn't cover match two or match one from round of eight. Match one, I don't have the replays for. If you want to see match two, I believe Esky covered it. So check out his channel at Esky. SC2. I'm glad I actually get to do these. These are a little bit faster, so I'm going to run through them a bit. But he said there was actually a really fun macro match that happened. Between, If you want to see a macro match on fastest map ever. Oh, no, sorry. On, I guess technically this is like fastest, right? On an infested map. Yeah, you can see it. SC2. Uh, that, I believe, was between Refrigerator and I can't remember who else. But apparently there was a macro match that this turned into. Anyway, Overlord spreading out. Looks like we are seeing a drone sinking out there for scouting. Largo, a new... I was expecting actually to see nothing but crazy critters from the round of 32 on. And it's just crazy critters, cra crazy critters, crazy critters, crazy critters. That's a tongue twister. Crazy critters, crazy critters, crazy critters. Try saying that three times fast, which apparently I just managed, but had trouble the first two times. Drones are looking for a target. We do see a hatchery. So at this stage, we're actually going to see something a little bit more interesting because now, as opposed to like crazy critter map comparatively, we are actually going to see units fielded. So Zesky, a little bit later, getting the gas out. He's building marines, though. And keep in mind, sufficient amounts of marines early can create enough disruption that it allows infested marines to get picked off, and that, that can be a sizable advantage. But is it going to make a difference? Because it looks like Magnar, with a scouting overlord, may have already got eyes on the base, and it looks like he might already get an infested command center snuck in to his opponent's base. He's already producing double infested marine, uh, infested Terrans, infested Marines, infested Terrans. Zesky finally scouting here, and he hasn't even capped gas yet. So I'm not sure if this is a special tactic. He was maybe trying to do a Marine rush to get drones earlier. or he was maybe hoping that he'd be able to pick off infested Marines before they were landing in his base. Not sure what the logic behind this was. He's gonna go ahead and try to capture bottom right. But as this is happening, we already have infested Terrans making their way across. It's only going to be... It, it, the base is scouted, so Zesky in a lot of trouble. And we'll see how it plays out. SCV trying to attack that infested command center. It might be able to do a little bit of disruption. That command center not landing. Two Marines waiting, but there's already at least uninfested Terran and more to come shortly. Second one in the ranks to punch right through. And it looks like these Marines not going to see this infested Terran making its way across. So... Magnar does have a little bit of a economic disadvantage here. He's down 10 drones to the 16 comparative. Oh, Whoa, come on, Infested Terran. A bit of a whiff there. Two more running by this poor Marine. This Marine just sitting there watching. That, that's got to be one of the most hopeless things in the world. There is gas up here. It's a handful of SCs trying to draw the fire. They're bunching up, though, in the meantime, and what a huge explosion. Nothing left, and the two Marines that were trailing afterwards getting wiped out behind this. That might be it for Zesky Nagnar, sending yet another Infested Terran across the map. Looks like he's got pretty good scouting. The two Marines trying to rush their way back. This command center, I'm actually a little bit surprised this Infested command center is not landing to do additional damage. These two Marines going to go ahead and try to do what they can. The Infested Terrans just ignoring them, running their way across. And it's basically down to these four hero marines. This is like something out of a movie. A couple of infested turns making their way back. But it's kind of like you had the first blood. SCV trying to block the ramp. Failing in doing so. This infested Terran. Factory trying to go up. Already down to... <laughs> actually, we'll see if that even gets produced. The marines. Now running their way back. The infested Terrans were back at home base. A second hatchery is up. 13 drones. Which is allowing it looks like two... At least two command centers worth... Of production this command center now landing which is a sizable threat inside the base that's going to provoke at least the marines and the marines need to this is going to be critical that the marines stay spread out and somehow there's a a continued block and unfortunately right as these marines being let through that's going to allow another infested terran in the timing terrible two marines 
and an SCV being taken out with that. Another Infested Terran being built, and a single Marine doesn't look like it's going to get it done. A Vulture trying to be produced, and again, that front door not sealed. The Infested Terran just doing a whoop, doing a Zoidberg right by. Going to ignore the factory. Going to plop down, blow up the command center, and that command center is down. So now Nat Zesky being forced to call GG. A quick one from this side of the mat, uh, this side of the bracket. I do believe these are, I think these are best of three. We'll see how it plays out down the line. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.